This podcast may not be suitable for young children. Previously on Sneeze, James was holed up in his home while death lurked outside. Hold on! You banned my shotgun, you son of a... What the fuck? It's him! It's him! It's him! Sneeze with James Whittingham. (laughs) It's nice in here. You sound surprised. Well, it doesn't look like much on the outside. <laughs> Listen, Christmas is cancelled. COVID? Yeah. What do you think? It's cancelled this year, and I'm going to talk about it on your podcast. Like, you could have emailed or something. I'm not really ready. <laughs> the hell's an email? Let's go upstairs. Where's your microphone? Where's this bedroom of yours? <laughs> look at this place. There's decorations everywhere. Come on up. Can I get you anything? No, no, no. Okay, um, welcome to my bedroom podcast, Studio Santa. Are you comfortable? Can I get you some water? (laughs) No, no. Eggnog. I don't have eggnog. I hate eggnog. (laughs) Egg. Gross. You don't drink that stuff. Yeah, I... I never understood the appeal, and, uh, do you drink? No! Okay. I don't, I don't really, I don't drink that much either. I don't handle my alcohol well, and I, I generally, I try not to drink my calories. I'm recording right now, so that this is the, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, this is the podcast. What do you, what should we talk about? I'm canceling Christmas. Can't do it this year. Is it not safe because of the pandemic? Do you see a mask covering this massive beard ever? Well, everyone's in bed, aren't they? I mean, when you go to people's homes, do you really encounter people? Does it matter? Are we talking about touching surfaces here? Yeah, right. Everyone's in bed. You wouldn't believe the shit I've seen. Defecation. Sex. Defecation during sex. Depraved, depraved things, Jamie. I go by I go by James now. Oh, you think you're all growing up, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I've listened to your podcast. You really want to go with that? Uh, n- why listen then? Why do, why do you listen to my podcast? There's a million. There's a million podcasts, <laughs> literally, like a million because of the pandemic. There's a, now a million podcasts. There was seven hundred fifty thousand, which was a lot before, and now there's a million. So why listen to me if don't like me. Why did you change your name, Jamie? Um, okay. Um, one Sunday I was coming, I was a kid, I think grade six, and I was coming out of church and it was named, I saw the sign, it said, well, I knew what church it was, but it said St. James, and I thought, hey, that's my name, somebody said. Because it was on my birth certificate. And uh, then my dad, that right after church, we had lunch, and then we went to see a James Bond movie, and uh I was just uh, James, and I just thought, well, maybe it's time. Oh, and there was the bionic woman, too, um, Jamie Summers, with a TV show. She was kept getting made fun of. So, yeah, my dad took me to the movie, and I just I settled it right there. Fred! Yeah. Um, you remember Fred? Man couldn't fish with a dam, but he kept trying, didn't he? <laughs> Why do people do that? Uh, well... I don't know, actually, but people do that. They do things. They they keep at something if they enjoy it. Like comedy for some people. Wow. Um, uh, you're in a bit of a dark place, aren't you? It's been a tough year. It has, and uh, for everyone. And I just, I think it's going to get a whole lot worse if you're going to cancel Christmas. What's going on? I'm obese. I'm old. Very old. You can't possibly guess how old I am. 227. Jesus, you should win a lottery ticket with that. I'm right? No. So you podcast from your bedroom. Isn't this where you lay with your wife? No, we just do it in the kitchen. Right. You're getting pretty old, Jamie. Your fellows still work? Yes. Why wouldn't it? Nah, it won't for much longer. You're what, 54? Vi- <sighs> Listen, 54 is the new... Don't kid yourself. You'd better drop some weight and look a vegetable in the eye once in a while. And uh, yourself? I'm Santa Claus. I have a reputation to uphold. (laughs) 
<laughs> well, you know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Skinny people can't be jolly. Have you ever met a jolly thin guy? No. And if I may say, uh, you seem uh, down. Is that fair to say? I am COVID ravished by toy shop, Jamie. A lot of these elves are dead. Really? You know, they're old. We just placed them outside in the tundra with the global warming. I don't know how long that's going to hold. Uh, really? How many elves passed away, if you don't mind me asking? Four. A lot of them got sick, you know. The ones who didn't die, they got sick. There's a lot of downtime, kill productivity. We're way behind. Uh, it's just stressful. How did COVID make it to the North Pole exactly? I kind of assumed that... I mean, did you catch it last Christmas going to China or something? No, no, no. The wife makes a trip every summer to Walmart. Oh. Trailer trash don't mask. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nothing, nothing wrong with trailer trash. They're good people. Did you get it? No. Uh, no, but she's close with the elves, Mrs. Claus. Too close. Well, she fucks the elves, James. No, she... No. You're very dark. This is... This is taking a dark turn, obviously. I hope kids definitely aren't listening to this. Uh, you're joking, right? Am I? I don't know. Are you? I don't. I don't want to talk about it. No, I'm. I, we're not going to talk about. Are Are there female elves for the for the male elves? To, to... Of course, there's female elves, but the whole male elves, the whole the whole they got a big person fetish now. It's not going away. All they want is the big one. <sighs> I see. Okay. We put up plexiglass in, in the in the toy shop, Jamie. Uh, mashed everyone. Changed the ventilation, which has uh, done a lot for morale, actually. Is those little fuckers, they can fart five times their weight. Okay. Uh, maybe just in case kids are listening, we shouldn't swear or use, or maybe I could bleep them out. Uh, j just because you don't know who's going to listen to this. You know, they see Santa Claus in a podcast and a, a kid could somehow listen to it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm canceling Christmas. What finalized your decision? I mean, what did it come down to? Is it, it just, what was the last straw for you? I just don't feel like Santa anymore. Yeah. Half the world is crazy. They're, uh, they're living in a different world. And it's, it's, it's not the Christmas world, Jamie. The world is, is, is changing too fast for some people, I think. Yep, me included. Don't you think that people... Um, need you, especially this winter, um, given everything that's happened this year, I mean, this is like the worst year you could cancel the Christmas, the absolute, well, in the last hundred years. This year, that people won't even be gathering for Christmas. There's going to be, there's going to be people all by themselves, Jamie, in nursing homes and in apartments and in houses. Some people won't get to see their children. Medical workers are going to be working overtime. And, and millions of people will be in mourning because all the all the people we've lost in the last year, Jamie. This, this is not a special Christmas. This year, the hell with this year. Okay, that's all. That's all true. But um, I I really think that that you calling things off is going to make it much worse. Uh, I really do. I mean, is there any way you could you know keep it together for another year? How could anything get any worse? How? Well, you canceling Christmas, people, they need hope. They need the Christmas spirit. They really, honestly, they really need it this year. Bah! Is that, are you depressed? What do you think, Sigmund? I think, I think you're overwhelmed. I think like a lot of people, you're no different. You're, you've got work stress. You've got maybe economic factors. You've got fear of the COVID. You've got, um... It's not been right. Your, your normal routine's put off, and you're getting stressed. Well, I'm getting too old for this, don't you think? You were technically too old for this several hundred years ago, sir. Ah! You, maybe you should see someone that- Too dangerous. Covert's everywhere. Well, why did you come here? You never go out. <laughs> come on. I, I went to Canadian Tire last Tuesday, and the cashier sneezed on me. When's the funeral? The 18th. How did you- How'd you know I would set a date? Well, it's the date your father died in December. Coincidence? What, 30 years ago now? 34. But no, I just figured five days till the symptoms come, typically, and then some people die five days after they first get symptoms. I, I read that, and um, maybe a couple days for my family to, 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 to do something with me. I, I don't know. Your math doesn't work out. <laughs> 
Come on. It'll be more like the 21st, just like your old man. Listen, it's that that's the winter solstice, the darkest, shortest day of the year. You know, my birthday falls on the fall equinox sometimes, and it's like, oh, your birthday's the first day of fall, and uh, how depressing is that? You know, people don't like fall around here because winter is brutal, and it's not fair. Yeah, that's not fair. No, not fair at all. Do you know how many people are born into the world who are destined to live in a cardboard box their whole life with nothing? Yeah, I know. I know. I, uh... I looked it up once, and as little as I have in my society, it feels that way sometimes. I'm like in the top 5% of the world. I I have no good concept of what a lot of people live like. No, I don't know that. I don't give gifts to them, you know. Why not? No chimney. You're, you're cracking wise now? The world isn't fair, Jamie. Never has been. It's getting less fair every day, you know that. Well, amen to that. Amen. But, you know, I'm looking to convert to Judaism. Why? Why? What? I've got the penis for it. <laughs> they circumcised everyone back in my day just to be safe, you know what I'm saying? But Judaism? Why Judaism? Nice faith. Fewer gifts. No big fuss about the consumerism all that. Drake is blown up now. All the Christmas songs were written by the Jewish people, you know? The Christmas, the TV specials. It's all mostly Christmas is a Jewish concoction. Why not? Uh, yeah, you know, I've got a theory on that and it may be completely out the lunch but I, I it's like I always hear stories of Jewish people growing up and envying the apparent magic of Christmas with other families the trees and the decorations and all the gifts and uh is that part of it no no yeah you're you're not off too far there we had a good run with Christmas are you are you sure about Judaism though yeah why not I've been thinking about it for years and years and years now seems like the right time I mean if not now when what what are you going to do? Just you going to you going to close down the North Pole, the shop and let all the elves just wander off into the tundra? Past the frozen dead elves that are already out there? I mean, what are you going to How's that going to work? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh they're welcome to stay. I just need uh people to maintain the place and clean it for me and uh That doesn't sound right when you say it out loud, does it? No. Well, I, I, I must say I need them less now that I have a bidet. <laughs> you got a bidet? Yes, yes, I heard about it on your show, and you're right. I went out there and I got one, and once you spray the crack, you'll never go back. Amen to that, brother. Amen. So, I mean, are you going to, uh, how are you going to do this? Are you going to issue a press release or hold a press conference somewhere? I mean, how are you going to tell the world that, that Christmas isn't coming this year? No, nope, just going on your show here. Santa, not everyone listens to my show. In fact, a lot of people don't listen to my show. Very few people do, it seems. Uh, maybe a few thousand if I'm lucky. Like, you can't get the word out of my show. Why not? You're hilarious and quirky or something. And, uh, well, you're, you're, you're messed up in an appealing way of some sort. I don't know how to describe it. Thank you. Um, I'm just saying my show's not the best way to get the word out. I'm positive about that, okay? This is not... No one... No one's going to take this seriously and, and, and get, they're not, they, they may not believe you're real. Well, it's nothing new, but this is the best way. I mean, what, what did you ask for last Christmas? Honestly, I don't remember. I, I never, I, Christmas is, uh, I mean, I'm a grown up. It's, it's not as big a deal anymore. Uh, oh, I, um, I think I got this podcast mic for Christmas last year it was way about four times the budget of my normal Christmas gift, but I, you know, justified it in the, in sort of the career sense of things and hoped for the best. Exactly. You wanted to be a successful podcaster. And now you are. No, I, you mean because you're on my show now that everybody's going to say, hey, Santa's on the show. We got to listen to the James's podcast. Yes. And you're welcome. You know, when you want to fire up a little thank you cards into the North Pole, it wouldn't kill you. Uh, it'd come close. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious, in a, in a quirky way. So the pandemic, thank you. The pandemic, it's, it's clearly been hard on you. Uh, yep. You just feel like you've got nothing left to give? I'm just tired, Jamie. The sea ice is melting, you know? The sea ice is melting. Yeah, a lot of people 
A lot of people stopped believing in science, Santa. I'm old enough to remember when there was no science. Science was a wonderful thing, Jamie. A lot of people can't handle the world these days. A lot of people just can't handle it. They want to live somewhere else. I... Just tired, you know? You know, I, I was thinking this would be a good year, and it was a joke, of course. Well, it's... But it's true. It would be a good year to start a cult. It would be... People are so messed up, they're just looking to believe in something. Well, you're right about that one. Isn't... Wasn't Christmas a bit of a cult, though? I mean, in a... Just something for people to believe in? That they're looking to fulfill a certain... I don't know, part of themselves, or... I don't know how to explain it. Well, it's more complicated than that, Jamie. You know, my son tells me there's girls in his high school that start listening to Christmas music at the beginning of October. October 1st, they start listening to Christmas music and don't. I don't know when they turn it off. Um, January, I'm guessing. Oh, that's just wrong. Obviously, that's 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 wrong. I mean, there's only, what, six Christmas songs? Six proper Christmas songs? And you, you don't want to listen to them over and over. That's not healthy. Not healthy, those girls. They're embracing... Um, a spirit, I guess, and and uh, it seems to work for them. I mean, good for them, but uh, it makes them happy. I, I don't quite understand that. I always, I, t I had big Christmas spirit when I was a kid. I mean, it was huge. Oh, yeah. Uh, like magic, like freaking magic. And I always, I tried to figure out why that was, and it was, I was just, I didn't get presents throughout the year. I got some on my birthday, but I didn't really get presents, so all the presents I got all the toys I got was at Christmas time, so I just obsessed about it. Yeah. Uh, as I obsess about other things in the world, and I really over obsessed about my presence uh, and what was coming on Christmas, and it just turned it into a magical thing. And of course, I believe in Santa Claus, and Santa yeah. Claus was magical and and a good person, and uh, who liked me apparently. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I just I was just excited about getting presents as a kid, and I I. I don't know if that's true anymore. My my kids, they don't like getting presents so much. I mean, it's not, it's a little bit magical for them, but it, it doesn't seem like it was for me. Oh, you couldn't wait, could you? You you opened those presents that were under your tree on, on Saturdays when your parents were working. You got a razor blade out and you got very good at it, weren't you? It was like a little heist. You opened your presents and your, where were your brothers? They're probably out in their bedrooms looking at the Playboys and you were... I feel bad about that i have impulse control issues i think i've always had them i i don't know where that comes from first time i've said that out loud maybe hit the drive through less and take a deep breath now and again hey your bed sheets ripped i spent a lot of money on that actually i spent i think 70 bucks on that bed sheet i've never spent 70 bucks on a bed sheet before and uh didn't last very long are you cutting your toenails that's more like my heels get rough and sandpaper in the, in in the winter time, and they, it just grates on the sheets. I think. Oh, okay. Which um are the which which are the proper Christmas songs? If you don't mind me asking, I'm just curious what you think about that. Well, it ain't baby. It's cold outside. I'll tell you that much. I mean, imagine your son's friends listening to that rapey song from October on, over and over and over. My God, man! <laughs> the Wonder Woman continue to struggle. Have you heard? Have you heard people that are, they're hoarding Christmas trees this year? No. I mean, it's like toilet paper at the beginning of the pandemic. I saw it for myself. Uh, I went to buy a Christmas tree, a real Christmas tree, and I saw everyone who was buying a Christmas tree bought two Christmas trees. Really? Yeah. Every one of them. I, I might have been for their parents. Maybe they're just protecting their parents from growing out. Natural trees? Yes. Well, Natural trees? Decorations are a big part of Christmas. The whole mystical mythical thing that goes on with the spirit aspect of it it's a it's a big thing is that right now i saw you're downstairs jamie it looks like christmas threw up down there i mean you're really trying hard to conjure the elusive christmas spirit aren't you i want my family to be cheerful i mean we can't they can't visit with their friends they can't have family we can't go see family no. i think they're mostly appreciated well that's the wrong approach james why a lot of money goes into that a lot of money what'd that tree cost you uh, forty dollars. Bought a cheap one, eh? <laughs> yeah, cheap. Okay. All I'm saying is, you could tie a string of lights up every year and, and just go with that. You know, that's Christmassy. Uh, you could take the money that you spend on Christmas and give it to other people—people people who are hungry, people who can't buy presents for their kids. Okay. 
You'd get your Christmas boost a lot better that way, let me tell you, than putting up all those decorations. <laughs> but try telling people that. They don't want to make the choice. They don't want to take the chance that it won't have a lasting effect, that little good feeling they get when they give. But you, you could, you could get a rush. A rush out of being nice to other people and helping those with less than you, Jamie. I bought uh, a $20 uh, artificial tree a couple of years ago on clearance mm -hmm. in January, I think. Uh, and I put it upstairs. I always strive to have a, um, a multi-Christmas tree home. I thought that was important for some reason. I, I don't know why. But I didn't spend a lot of money doing it. Um, mm -hmm. But it cheers up my family. There's more than your family, you know. You also bought that nine-footer, that artificial prelit tree, that the Jan can't even haul out of the shed every year. I know it's a, it's a sore spot. It's a, it's like watching her try to drag a corpse out of storage every year. I know it's a, it's big and it's it's a lot heavier. And and believe me, if I had a twelve-foot ceiling, I'd have a twelve-foot tree. I, I just think that would be Christmassy and 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 really cool. And um, yeah. The status is such a big thing. No one ever has enough. Yeah, I've got a chiropractor friend who I think has three or four trees in her home every year. Christine? Christmas eats her up. She's been fighting it her whole life, Jamie. And that's why she's always passed out on the couch Christmas Eve with a wine glass in her hand. Wow. You you know everyone, and everyone really well. That's, uh... Yeah... Who who will be in your position if you're not Santa anymore? No, nope, Judaism is calling, Jamie. It's the right move. Not sure where my next step is, but... Do you know any rabbis? No. I I don't think I've ever met a rabbi. I mean, they're, they seem cool <laughs> on TV and movies, and uh, I've always wanted to meet one, maybe even have one as a friend. They'd be a good conversationalist. Someone to keep me in check, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um... But I, no. They do, don't they? They look very cool on TV. Watch them all the time. Hey, you know, I've got a bounce. Do you have a phone book before I go? N um, I don't, th I don't think so. What do you need? Got to find a rabbi who's open weeknights. Um, well, I can, I can look at my phone if you want. I, I don't want to be the guy who sets you up with a rabbi, though. No, it's okay. I'll figure it out. Santa, hmm? would you would you mind staying for a bit longer? Um, just a few minutes. Why? Well, uh, I've got "Twas the Night Before Christmas" here. the The poem. It's uh, my kids. I read it to my kids every Christmas. It's we have books for children. And they love it, and uh, I think it's the quintessential Santa poem if there ever was one and i think it would be a wonderful part of your legacy uh if you read it uh on my podcast if there was a recording of you reading it and honoring um all that you've done if you've if you've left the the world with a reading of that wonderful poem i think um that would be a positive thing a very very positive thing well i've i've never even read that darn thing really but it's I really like it. It's 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 wonderful, and uh, everyone loves it. And uh, yeah, to hear you read it, I think would be uh, really special. How do I come off in it? Pretty good. Of course, you come off good. I mean, you, yes. I I think I know you'd like it. Okay. Do you have a copy handy then? I do. I have copies all over the house somewhere. I just don't know where they are right now what if we just oh. read it off the internet i'll just google it and uh you can read it can you see okay can you read oh yeah i'll put on my reading glasses here okay um yeah i can read that here just i'm gonna put the mic up to your mouth and you can read it okay all right <clears throat> all right here Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Yet, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you, you just don't come upon a house that has mice that uh, 
where they're not stirring. You know, they have to, they're, they're starving little creatures, Jamie. They, they constantly eating all night long, nocturnal as they are. You, you're not going to come, unless they found a good food source and they're just fattening right up and they're, they're sleeping and digesting in their nest or something, I don't know. Rarely, no, the mice, they're stirring. All right, the stockies were hung by the chimney with care. In hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Hey, I like it when people call me St. Nick. That's a nice one. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Well, the, the kids are not dreaming about sugar plums anymore, I'll tell you that much. What are they dreaming of? Minecraft and murder. And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cap had all settled down, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Yet, you don't see a lot of sashes anymore. Really? No, or shutters. Huh. Uh, the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. Well, that's just great. Obviously, there's something wrong with the sled. We've crashed in the backyard. And everyone's looking at us, and as bright as day, this is the worst case scenario that you could possibly imagine. Uh, uh, okay, what? When what to my wandering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer? Now, yeah, we don't have eight anymore. Why not? Well, some of them have died, and. Really? It's just more efficient. It's like, they're like cylinders. We go with four now. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Well, that's terrific. I deed on the lawn. Yeah. More rapid than eagles, his curses they came. And he whistled and he shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher. Now Dancer. Now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet and Cupid. On Donner and Blitzen. Yeah, that sounds like me. Yes. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. I, I'll bet you anything it was a ski on the sled. Occasionally we'll miss a landing and the ski has to be adjusted. I'll bet you, I'll bet you a million bucks that's what it was. Okay. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly when they meet an obstacle mount to the sky. Oh, that's beautiful. I really like that. So up to the housetops, the curses they flew. With the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. Beautiful. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawning of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand, and you're not supposed to hear the hoofs again. We must have been off our game. Silence is our trademark. Yeah. It's against our brand to be up there making noise. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Yes, dirty job. And you know, the little people, they don't talk about this, but a lot of times you'll get a free chimney sweep with Santa Claus visit. People don't appreciate that. It's a Christmas present that they don't mention. Uh -huh. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Huh, that's quite the sight. His eyes, how they twinkled. Although you're not supposed to be watching me. Very disappointed that people would watch me. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. You know, we will pick up a little bit of booze from time to time. It's not just milk and cookies. People will let a little, little box of little Chardonnay out for you. <laughs> Especially in Europe. Anyway, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Yeah, geez, it was white back then, too, eh? Okay. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. You had to have a small pipe because you couldn't get down the chimney with a big one. Anyway, I stopped smoking. It's terrible. Anyway, he had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Well, that's not flattering. Okay, he was chubby and plump. A right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. Well, that's that's a bit of humiliating there. Oh, a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. We don't like to be watched, but it's it's good that he felt safe. A lot of people get spooked and run. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, 
and filled the stockings, he then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. Oh, that's... That's just something, eh? That uh, really takes me back. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Oh, damn it, I didn't think I'd get like this, but it's just, it's been hard to be Santa Claus for all these years. And uh, Okay. Well, uh, come on, Santa. Uh, all right, Jamie, you got me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, screw Judaism. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go look for a rabbi. It's uh, there'll be Christmas this year. You, there'll there'll be Christmas. <laughs> you you're not getting anything, you stupid jerk. You, you uh. you're just getting this. <coughs> All right, James. I'm gonna go. Uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Santa. Th <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back Christmas Eve. <laughs> Stay strong. Merry Christmas. And so Christmas was saved. Even after James had to record the whole thing twice due to technical error, he could be heard saying, That was better. It's a Christmas miracle. So let's say goodbye to 2020 and look forward to the spring. And a happy Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. Thanks for listening to Sneeze. Spread the love. Tell your friends.